Well, Donald Trump took his traveling roadshow to Europe this week, having finally scored a UK state visit, courtesy of outgoing Prime Minister Theresa May. And he was also here with other European leaders to commemorate the D-Day anniversary and America's pivotal role in helping Europe to defeat Nazism, a seminal event in modern American history that every modern president has been able to articulate. But this American president is Donald Trump. And so his trip was, it was different. Joining me now is Martin Lewis, producer and columnist. I want to show this picture of Jared Kushner uh, and, uh, and Ivanka Trump that's kind of gotten memed all over <laughs> social media of them sort of staring out into the distance from Buckingham Palace. You've got Eric Trump taking selfies all over town. The whole family kind of being tagged along like this was the Trump family vacation. You know, them getting write-ups as if they're somehow the Kennedys all of a sudden. It, 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 it is weird. And I wonder if you can understand Theresa May's politics and why she would call for this, because it was her call to do a state visit for Donald Trump on her way out the door. Why, why would she do that? Well, she made that commitment on uh, when she first met Donald Trump at the point when she thought she was still going to be prime minister for quite a long time and that Donald Trump would b somehow redeem himself. Um, but as we know, she had turned into, uh, right before this state visit actually happened, she turned into a lame duck. Or as Donald Trump said, he, she's a lame duck. And somebody said, well, it sounded like lame duck. I'm not sure. <laughs> But here's the, the, the thing. Is I, I have to defend Donald Trump here. There were a lot of attacks on Donald Trump and saying that he'd been disrespectful to the royal family. For example, it was mentioned that he'd said of Princess Diana that he would be able to nail her. And that was not fair. He was... Donald Trump was a, a real estate developer. He was in construction. And to nail a woman means to secure her and be kind to her. Um, he also was accused of calling Meghan Markle uh, nasty. This is not true. If you listen to the take carefully, he says she's a Nazi. So they've, they've really been unfair to Donald Trump. And last but not least, when people say that Meghan Markle didn't show up when he was there, you have to understand that she's just had a baby. Or as Donald Trump said to um, Prince Harry, that's what he calls a stormy time after your wife has had a baby. Um, <laughs> But, as it happens, Meghan Markle can't go out. She's just had a baby. It's not as though she could just go up to London uh, and make a public appearance. So when you see videotape of her today for the Queen's official birthday called Trooping of Colour, that is not Meghan Markle. That is an inflatable from the Sean Hannity collection. That is not <laughs> Meghan Markle. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, you are uh, a national treasure uh, for, for both countries. Do you think that Donald Trump boosts or hurts UKIP? Because that is the sort of Trumpy party here. Well, uh, in fact, it's been supplanted by a uh, now called the Brexit Party, a new party by Nigel Farage, who's the man who commandeered uh, Brexit. But I have to say one more thing in defence of Donald Trump. He was attacked for um, saying what he said about Bette Midler. But he was right. Bette Midler made a film about the D-Day invasion called Beaches, but there was no Tom Hanks, there was no invasion of Normandy, and so Donald Trump was right to call out Bette Midler for being unpatriotic. <laughs> Martin, you are. If there wasn't a Martin Lewis, we'd have to invent one. Uh, thank you, Martin Lewis.